Hi, boys and girls. Let's get started with dilations. Today, we, were, we are going to dilate two-dimensional figures on the coordinate plane using a scale factor. We will write about dilations on a coordinate plane using vocabulary such as origin, scale factor, prime, original, new, etc. A dilation is a transformation that enlarges or reduces a figure to create a similar figure. In a dilation, the figure is enlarged or reduced to a fixed point called the center of, of dilation. For us, the center of dilation is always going to be the origin. The scale factor of a dilation is the ratio of the side length of the image to the corresponding side length of the original figure. The corresponding sides are proportional. You should have heard many of these vocabulary words before, and they should start ringing a bell in your head. A ratio is a fraction. Two fractions can be proportional by using a scale factor. Coordinate notation, also known as algebraic representation, for a dilation is as follows. X, Y, where your point started, to K, X, K, Y, where your point ends, with K representing the scale factor. If K is smaller than one, it is a reduction. If K is bigger than one, it is an enlargement. Let's do an example. Draw a dilation of ABC with vertices A10, B33, C31. Use a scale factor of four. On the previous slide, we talked about your motion rule, also known as algebraic representation, would be XY to KX, KY. And I told you that K stands for the scale factor. So if I take point A, which was 1 comma 0, and I multiply K, which is 4, times 1, that's going to give me 4. And K again, which was 4, times 0, that's going to give me 0. So my A prime is at 4, 0. So that is going to be A prime. Okay. Moving to B. B started at 3, 3. I'm going to multiply each point by my scale factor of 4. In this case, they are both 3, so 4 times 3 is 12, so my new B prime is at 12, 12. There's your B prime. So you can see this shape is going to be much, much bigger than this original shape. C started at 3, 1. And then we multiply each one by our K, our scale factor. And 4 times 3 is 12. And 4 times 1 is 4. So our C prime is at 12. Four. If I connect the dots, I can see my new triangle, and it is much larger than the first. In fact, it is four times larger than the first. And um, our algebraic representation for this shape would be the x comma y 
and then we just plug in the scale factor, which was 4, 4x, four 4y. Moving to the next example. Draw a dilation of a quadrilateral ABCD with vertices A, 0, 12, B, 9, 9, C, 12, 6, and D, 3, 3. Use a scale factor of 1 third. Okay, so I first am going to notice that this is a fraction between 0 and 1, and therefore I am going to have a reduction. It is going to be smaller than the original. Okay, so um, my scale factor is 1 third, so my motion rule or my algebraic representation is where did you start? x comma y and then what are you multiplying by? 1 third x, 1 third y. And just a heads up, your motion rule or algebraic representation should always have the same value in front of x and y. You cannot change your scale factor halfway through. So let's go ahead and put this to use. So if our a started at 0, 12, Whatever I multiply times 0 is still going to be 0. And then 12 times a third is the same thing as 12 divided by 3, which in this case is 4. So my new A value is at 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. There is A prime. B started at 9, 9. So I am going to multiply 9 times 1 third, which is the same thing as dividing by 3. So my new point is going to be at 3, 3. C started at 12, 6. If I multiply by a third, which is the same as dividing by 3, I will end with the coordinates 4, 2. Oh, I messed up on this point right here. Sorry about that. I didn't quite count far enough. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. It should overlap. our pre-image pre letter D, but this is going to be B prime. C prime is at 4, 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2. That's how I knew I messed up because it shouldn't have been in line with C. All right, and then our last point, D, started at 3, 3. If I multiply by a third to get D prime, same thing as dividing by 3. So my new coordinate is at 1 comma 1. So there is D prime. So I'm going to do my best to redraw this shape for you. It is definitely not going to be perfect, but you can see it. And there is our reduction. It is much, much smaller, and it is actually by a scale factor of 1 third. This graphic might be helpful for you to refer back to or keep in your notes. Um, it helps you to write the scale factor as a ratio and know to always simplify. Um, your sides should be proportional. And then the corresponding angles are congruent, but um, you won't really do anything with that right now. But it's good to know. Have a good day.